Finland. I'm giggling because our production team are just dancing behind the glass <laughs> to this uh, this tune. Uh, we've got Belgium versus Russia uh, as well at eight o'clock, and then following that, myself and Gabby will be back on the radio taking your calls. I can't wait to watch Belgium actually. I know that I'm, I'm looking forward to the Wales game in, in particular as well. Let me guess, Belgium are better than England. Is that what you're going to say next? Yeah, hundred uh, percent. Listen, dark, don't start. Mate. Dark horses. Dark horses in this tournament: Denmark, playing tomorrow. Keep an eye on them, right? You watch what they they'll do. They'll do. Bits Someone then. said that about Turkey, didn't they? That worked for Talksport, right? I didn't say it. <laughs> what are you looking at? I bet he's hiding. Is it? Oh, I didn't say Turkey. <laughs> I bet his Whoever on fire. said that is hiding. His <laughs> Twitter's on fire. Oh uh, eight seven one seven double two double three double four. Leon, welcome to the show. How are you, mate? I'm very well, mate. How are you? Yeah, good, man. What do you want to say, buddy? I just want to say, like, I think you've been a bit negative, mate. Well, yeah, that's but that's been known. <laughs> you go tell on, him, Leon. Go, go on, on, get him. Also, look, look, listen, I agree with Gabby. Like, we have a young squad, and like, but these are very experienced players. They've, most of them have been in Champions League final, like, and um, as well, you keep saying about this, oh, what England have done in the past, and yeah. they've been knocked out early and stuff. Yeah. But this team isn't part of that, you know, that history. Like, this team is a whole new generation of players who have never been part of that yeah. old early knockout stages and that sort of thing. All right. But in the past, we've had players that are, are as equally as good, if not better, than these lads that we've currently got, mate, and they and they and they've not managed to do it. I don't think we've had the same exciting young talent though. What? These, these players, hey? been, the, Michael Owen, now, these, Wayne Rooney, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, Michael Owen, I'll give you that Rooney as well, but that's yeah. just one or two players in the whole. Stephen Gerrard when this, he came this, through, this, yeah, he were exciting. He yeah, excited no, me. No, Rio yeah, Ferdinand, John squad. Terry, Beckham, he were exciting. What about Ashley Cole, best left back in the world? He were unbelievable. Yeah. No, no, Paul no, Scholes, right, yeah, maybe the best midfit. In fact, Paul Scholes, Zidane, Iniesta and Xavi all said that they wished they were Paul Scholes. That's how good he were. Yeah, but that team never worked and it was never going to work. Well, how's this team going to work? How's this one going to work? I'm not saying it's definitely going to work. I'm just saying you can't base what happened then yeah. on what's going to happen now. Why? Because this is a whole new generation. It's, it's, you know, if you're just going to look at it as in something that's happened in the past, it's going to happen again. Then what? What? What's the point in like so, watching right England right support right England? All right. Then, right. Well, we'll, we'll have a sense. Of, you tell me how far you think this lot are going to go. I think that there's no reason why we can't get to the final. Okay. Now, what are you basing that on? I'm basing that on that we have young players who are completely and utterly fearless. Okay, right, stop there. All we've had. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We've had that in the past. That's so. That, so we've had that uh, that storyline in the past, and, and it's not succeeded. Who reached Champions League finals by the time that like hey, twenty years hey, old? I just mention a few of them to you. What we're in Champions League final in a matter of weeks before the start of a massive tournament. Wayne, Ro Wayne tournament. Rooney's won Champions Leagues. Scholes no, won not, Champions not, Leagues. Gerard won a Champions League on his own. Near enough. Yeah, I know, but I'm talking about just before the start of a tournament. They are now at the height of their confidence. They're thinking, oh my God, we've now got to the like Champions League final. Yeah. Whether some of them have won it, some of them have lost it, fair enough. But they've got there. They're going to go out there on that first game thinking, oh my God. Like Foden's going to go out there thinking, I'm one of the best. And there's, I know that that's not like... When Rooney used to do that. Yeah, but what I'm saying is the confidence is coming from something which has happened very, very recently. I like think I think they, they they definitely are, I agree with you that they are fearless. I think when I when I watch them when I when I speak to some of them, they're fearless players. You know, they go out there and just enjoy themselves, express themselves, and that's what they've done in the the Champions League this season. The Chelsea players, the English players, play for Chelsea. The ones for Manchester City, they, they right, are fearless. Right, right, right. But you but you're talking to me now about what they are like in the club format yeah, under gonna, different I was, I was manager, that, yeah. different under pressures. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Mark, welcome to the show. How are you? Mark, are you there, mate? I'm here. Go on, Mark. What do you <laughs> want to say, pal? I want to say I agree with Gabby 100%. You sound like you agree with him 100%. <laughs> God, give it me, Mark. Tell me why you agree with him. Well, I, I've listened to the journos and the media slag Harry Maguire off for the last six to 12 months. Yeah. And now, all of a sudden, we haven't got Harry Maguire. Mm. And we're going to lose the Euros because we haven't got Harry Maguire. It just doesn't make sense at all that everyone pins their hopes on a person. Yeah. Not one person is going to win the Euros. 
No, but it's gonna be, that player it's gonna enables be. you to be able to play a certain shape. That's that's what I think a lot of people are saying. Having Harry Maguire, a fit Harry Maguire, allows you to play a four at the back. If he's not there, then you're going to have to play a three because with all due respect to the lads, a lot of them aren't good enough to play it in a two centre half situation. Well, I disagree with that. So who would you? Who, all right, then without Harry Maguire, then who'd you play centre half? John Stones and Harry Mings. Harry Mings. Who's he? Did we? Get, when did oh, he come in? Oh, so, sorry, Tyra Mings. <laughs> <laughs> Thought we got a new player there. Right. So Tyra uh, Mings and and John Stones. Did you watch the game last week against? What was it? Austria. Did we play last week? Did yeah. you watch that game? Yeah, I did. What do you think of it? Uh, Tyrone could have done a lot better, but he just had. You know, it's against Austria. Of, it's against Austria, that, isn't it? He made a couple of mistakes against so. Austria. So when oh, the well. when the opposition gets better, will their mistakes well, you go might away? Have just got them out of your system in that game. <laughs> <laughs> What was that? Sorry, he says he got that. him out of his system in in the in the game last week, so he won't make any yeah. in the in the games exactly. going forward. Yeah, exactly. You now anyone can make a mistake, but as a rule, Harry Mink, uh, Tyra Mings <laughs> hasn't let England down, and neither has John Stones in a way. It's especially after the last twelve months. I agree with you. I totally agree with you. I think Mings has been strong, and I think. People forget the season he's had. You know, Aston Villa um, had how many clean sheets? I think it's nearly a record, wasn't it, for for the club? So, I think Mings has got to start. Are you, um, Mark? Are you a, a Villa fan? I, I, well, I, I was going to say, unfortunately, I am, but I'm not. Unfortunately, I am. I am a Villa fan. Ah, oh, yeah. there you go. There's a mate that Mings loving between you and Gabby. <laughs> Here we go. That's where it is, eh? Uh, no, 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 no. It's not a love in between. It, who else is going to play alongside John Stones? Well, you're going to play three. No, I wouldn't. No, no, no. That's what I would do. I'm just saying, you've asked me what else could you do. You play three, you play Kyle Walker if alongside it was, him. If it was a two, you'd play Mings and Stones, wouldn't you? If no. I was injured. No, I'd play Ben White. Over Mings? Yeah. Don't start. Why? Are you serious? Yeah. Would you... Well, Don't I know why you're cats. doing it because you're a no, villa boy. Come on, mate. Tyro means left-sided centre half, yeah. left-footed. Ben White's quick, a be- Ben White's quick. better than him. He's better than him. But on the ball, maybe that's it. Not a better defender. Yeah, he is. He's better than him. Oh, come on, mate. Oh eight seven one seven. Tyro just woke up in his bed. Double three. Double four. Listen, I'm not picking the team, am I? I'm just going to slag it off when it gets picked on Sunday. Can't what believe saying Ben White. Everyone's Listen, jumped on the Ben White bandwagon now. Ben White's a top got, defender. I think he's a good defender, yeah, he's definitely. A top defender. But you he's can't better, go against Mings. Tyro Mings. You can't, mate. Tyro Mings has got pace, strength. He's um, left-sided centre um, centre back. Yeah. Maybe he's not as good as on the ball as Ben White. But come on, you could never play White and Stones. I don't want to play. I, I, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. I would play three. That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't play the two if Harry Maguire's not there. And you'd do the same thing, wouldn't you? Yeah, I know, but it's just, just, I don't know. Anyway. I'll pass. Um, oh, wait, 717, <laughs> double two, double three, double four. Keep your calls coming in. I'm only messing about the Tyron Mings thing. I think he's a good defender. I really do. But I hope I'm massively wrong. I hope my pessimism is absolutely thrown right back down my throat on Sunday when we thrash Croatia. <sighs> How many do you want? Five or six? Five or six, yeah? I'll take a one nil. Just a- <laughs> Harry Kane penalty. Let's, let's move on. 